Okay guys, so I'm back on my free to play account. There's been some new additions to the gear hub as you can see here And I'm going to be testing one of these new weapons and seeing how useful it is There are a few different weapons that have been added for credits and eight coins But the main one I want to get is right here the helix rack 8 So let's just go ahead and buy it I am going to also upgrade it and let's just test out and see how powerful it is It's kind of like an upgraded version of my javelin racks So here we go just upgrading it and yeah, I'm definitely excited to see how well this thing can do and if it's useful for me. Okay guys, and here is the Helix Rack 8 build I'm going to be using. This is basically replacing the jabs I could have had on here before. Uh, as you can see, it's almost 10,000 damage more. They're way more powerful, obviously being a rank higher, an epic weapon. I leveled them up, and they have more range. So let's go test these out in, a, in some battles and see how these new weapons can do. Okay, so I'm starting out with Kill Shot. We're up against one player here, so 1v1. Um, obviously, these are going to be powerful. Everyone knows that kill shot and slingshot with javelins are super powerful. Everyone, I think, remembers back when they first got their javelin sixes and fours and put them on that dash mech. It's super strong. It's like the strongest build in the very early game. Um, but this is basically kind of like an upgraded version of that. Obviously, being helix is a very similar to javelin. It's a, it's kind of the same weapon. But, um, you know, we're going to see how these upgraded version can do. Basically, this, these just do more damage and have more range. We're going to dodge away. Oh, wow. He predicted it. Nice job. But we still did pretty decent. Uh, not great, though, for sure. Oh, the player. Look, he's using his helixes. Enemy players are already using them as well. They came out today, and everyone is using them. All right, nice. Helixes didn't do great, though. Look at our guardian, man. He's doing pretty well today. All right, here we go. Um, it's a 2v2 in players. This is a 6-star bot nomad, so I think at least one of the enemy players is super strong. Where's my player teammate? Oh, wait. Do I not have one? Oh, no, it is. It's this grasshopper guy. Oh, maybe he's tanking? But he also has helix, not the ones that are for credits, uh, that have just come out for credits, but we are on a long-range map as well. Nice. Hopefully my teammate isn't tanking, but let's see what we can do. Since we're on a long-range map... Uh, these are going to be at a little more of an advantage. See this guy? I think he's also using these new helixes. Let's get this kill. Nice. Uh, this guy got the kill, though. I'm pretty sure he's tanking. I don't think I should be having a 6-star legendary mech in my matches here. I'm at 5,000 squad power. But anyways, uh, let's go for this guy. Nice. That was a good hit. The one thing about helix, though, it, it's not always going to work out well for you to camp the whole match. Especially in CPC, when you camp... Uh, like the whole match some players will do this and it'll often lead to you losing because you didn't capture any beacons You didn't push at all and uh, Helixes have a long reload. They're great at finishing off one enemy, but uh, they aren't really great on their own um, Like for doing enough damage in a match You need to do enough damage to kill more enemy mechs than the enemy kills of yours Look at me. I can't do anything because this guy right here has his six star helixes like straight up whatever I whatever I try to kill he just kills it three times more efficiently because he's got six star weapons there we go that was our first good hit of the whole game <laughs> that's crazy okay here's a player he's got a surge though he's got stealth to avoid uh my weapons let's dash back into cover i still didn't get that kill oh man an enemy aegis really blocked it come on let me get someone here's a bot i think we should be good to go nice that was pretty good yeah these also have a double damage chance so that's pretty uh helpful when you're trying to get one taps or one max um, we also though, we, yeah, we have to consider that these weapons have more range than the javelin racks. Oh, nice. Panther almost one tapped. Uh, the range is really helpful because with, with jabs, the only real limitation is just that the range and the, you know, you also can't fire a little closer with these weapons. So jabs can fire 15 meters and farther. These can only fire 20. So they are actually a little worse than jabs in that way, but uh, overall they are a lot better. There you go, we did 300,000. Obviously, my teammate <laughs> took a lot of those kills, but still a pretty good performance from our Helix Racks. Okay, we did win. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's see if this guy was tanking. 11 kills with Nomad. I don't think that was very fair. Let's see. Alright, here's my teammate's hangar. And no, it looks like he was just somehow had that strong of a build. Alright, here we go again. Uh, one player on each team, so 1v1. Um, so yeah, for the Helix Racks, the Helix uh, 8 and 16 were added to the Gear Hub, in case you guys don't have all the tiers unlocked or just didn't look yet. They're both for credits, about 300,000 each, uh, so I bought these for 300,000 and then upgraded them. Um, that was, you know, what I showed you at the beginning of the video, but uh, 
uh, the Helitrack 16, which is, you know, obviously the highest energy variant, is also available for a pretty, pretty cheap price, which is really nice. I think that's awesome that the, uh, that it was added uh, with for credits. I didn't think it would be, but it, it turns out that it was. So definitely a good later game option if you're looking for a 24 energy uh, attacker, probably uh, Helix build. You can now get that for just 600,000 credits, which is great. All nice. That was some good damage. And then also, I don't, I don't have the credits to purchase all these items but the the two of the chain guns were added for credits and then three of them were added for the premium a coin price so for the ones that are purchasable for a coins now i wouldn't say for, i wouldn't recommend anyone to buy them but obviously any anything for credits is going to be a pretty decent buy um obviously the chain guns aren't great they did just get buffed but they still aren't the greatest weapon they are five star legendary weapons though so um they're gonna be powerful no matter what really they are basically, you know, just a machine gun. Wow, look at that damage on that Zephyr. We almost got him in one hit. But, uh, you know, for, for this account, I'm definitely going to consider getting them. I do have some good implants, but I don't have a pilot right now. And, uh, yeah, so it's the 10 and 6 that are available for credits, which I think, uh, overall, if you buy the 6s early game, you're not going to get much use out of them because they kind of need a tank or something that can uh, sit there and kind of use its sustained fire, like Aegis or Panther, something with more survivability, because a weapon like uh, Chain Gun has to sit out in the open, which is really dangerous in Macarena. So you're going to want something that can sit out in the open, such as, you know, like I said, Aegis or Panther are uh, pretty pretty good options for that. But um, I, don't, I don't know that buying the Helix Rack 6 and using two of them is going to be very useful, but I think what will be useful is using a 10 plus a 6 for a 16 energy build. Um, like, say I get Aegis, I might get Aegis on this account. If I did, I could then buy both those weapons. Uh, that'll be pretty costly, 1.4 million credits, but it's still better than 8,000 Acoins, so I'm not going to complain. Um, I think that that could be a pretty decent build. I know that Scape, on his free-to-play account, I know that he uses chain guns. So, um, you know, they're, they're obviously on his Aegis. So, it, it's definitely a build I would consider uh, because I know it would work pretty well. And, you know, he uses it too, so it'd be cool to see how well it can work. I know his chain guns are a little lower level, though. Like, the chain guns in the gear hub, you're going to get it five stars, which is really quite powerful. It's the same as, you know, DL8s and other legendary weapons. Um, but overall, I think this these are some great additions to the gear hub. There you go, finish off that player. Um, I'm glad that the, especially the Helix 16 was added for just credits. I didn't think it would be, uh, but thankfully it was. So yeah, pretty awesome. Let's be thankful that we have these new weapons, even though you know a lot of things that need to be added like Eclipse and other mechs haven't been. Uh, here we go, we're about to get finished off, but our Helixes did really great. We need a lot of other things added to the gear hub, but this is a step in the right direction, I think. Here's the end of the battle, guys. As you can see, I've used EM, so the Helix Rack camping didn't actually work out too well for me. The enemy player's been able to kill so many of my bots that I'm actually going to lose right here. So, like I was saying, it's not always the smartest idea to camp the whole game. Though we did get top MVP. Pretty nice. Anyways, guys, there you go. Those are my new Helix Rack 8s. I really am, I've been enjoying them. Um, comment down below what else you guys are going to get from the gear hub. Here's the Chain Gun 10. Obviously, 700,000 credits. Here's the Chain Gun 6. For 750, I might be purchasing one or both of those, and then I'm actually not in the tier yet where you can get the Helix 16, but this right here is, I believe, 310,000 credits, something like that. So yeah, comment down below if you guys are going to get these. I definitely recommend everyone to get the Helix Track 8. I'm sure most of you have it unlocked, and it's going to be a super powerful addition to your hangar. So definitely grab this thing now that it's available in the Gear Hub. Put it on something that it will uh, be useful in your hangar. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this episode of the free-to-play account, and I will see you guys in the next one.